So firstly here we have clouds so I have used polymetric cloud shader for this clouds so this allows me to have full control over the cloud so in the shader parameters here you can see I can control the density also the number of clouds increase and decrease and I even have the color of background sky and many more so this gives the full access for the clouds. So for the terrain I have added a mesh instance node and assigned a quad mesh so you can see our terrain is completely flat and it's not bumpy so for the materials I have added few materials such as albedo normal and ambient occlusion now you can see the texture is not quite good because a single texture is covering up all the terrain and it's look completely weird so to solve this problem i just increase the uv scale value to a higher amount such as 90 so this creates repetition tile sets of our texture over the complete terrain so on both z and x axis it creates 90 cross 90 uh, texture tile set so now you can see it's looking good so that's it for our terrain i have also added a uh, static body for the collisions So next we have this animated tree. So here I have animated the leaves with a little bit of wind. So if you don't know how to do this then you can watch my tutorial on how to create realistic animated trees. The link is in the description. So next for the tree placement I have manually placed all the trees in a small area and then I just duplicated the entire area to cover up all the terrain. So here if you see closely. I have named all the sections so complete oak tree comes under this section similarly I have created something around five sections and then I just duplicated all the sections and placed over the terrain so here I used flat terrain so that the trees are placed on a proper ground level so if you use any bump terrain then you need to manually place all the trees over that and this makes a lot of work so I just use the flat terrain and use this idea so here I didn't use any grass plugin or any other things I just manually placed all the trees so next we have our grass so here you can see how it looks so this is an object mesh object which I created in blender and you can see how it looks here in the preview then I just added the texture over it and enabled the transparency so for the placement of grass over the terrain, I just used the multi mesh concept. So you can watch the tutorials on YouTube how to place objects on a surface using multi mesh. So here I created two grass. The first is the lower one and the second one is something like bush. So I just scattered the entire grass over a flat terrain. So that's it for the grass. So next for animals, I got all the sources online so it has few animations so you can see so these animations are randomly picked out of three so i just created a basic logic for this and different animals have different kind of animation so i have also placed other animals such as rabbit deer moose and many more so i just added few logic parts for few animals so you can explore the other animals and create your own logic else you can go a hands on practice and implement the similar logic part so that's it for the animals next for lightning and in terms of post processing work i adjusted few properties of our environment node all these properties are adjusted according to me and my liking so in the camera 3d node i also decrease the far value 
so this doesn't render up the trees which are far away and indirectly in it increases the performance feel free to explore the demo project and play around with it however please remember that the models used in this project are only for educational purpose and should not be used in any other purpose So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can comment me below. Do like the tutorial, do comment, do subscribe and always have a great day.